If you've been doing any upscaling in Flux, then you've probably noticed the images do look a lot better, but of course it takes a lot longer to go from something like that to something like that. As you can see, there's lots more detail in there, but can we do this any quicker? Here I'm using Comfy UI, so if you don't have that installed already, do check out the links in the video description for more information. Flux, of course, here is the model. I do have a couple of model loaders, but that's just so I can make sure everything is the same when I show you the GGUF version in a moment. I'm using the Hyper SD Flux, so that means I only need eight steps in my sampler, which is great, and the Shaka Detail LoRa as well, just to improve that image quality a little bit. So there we go, we've got a standard image, eight steps. How can we make this look a little bit better? Well, we can upscale it. Like you can see, I've been doing lots of different tests and variations on things. So let's zoom into these and take a look at what is going on. First up then is just a standard upscale. Now you will have noticed I've got some extras over here. I've got an upscale model PBRFI. That's this one over here on OpenModelDB. This is good at compression removal, game textures, restoration. All right, so that should fix things up. You can, of course, use a whole variety of different upscale models. I'm sending the same seed into everything. And I've got these two other little nodes here as well, latent noise injection and latent multiply. This is essentially with them doing nothing. So I'm adding no noise and I'm multiplying it by one. Standard upscale, four steps, as you can see in this case. And the little key in here is you can actually use the Euler CFG++. Now it doesn't work, of course, when you're generating the initial image, but when you're upscaling or doing image to image, it does work very well. To start with, then I've set the multiplier to 0.75. And as you can see, the colors are less saturated. The opposite is true as well. Here I've got the latent multiply set to 1.5 and well, yep, that's a lot more saturated. Taking a look at the other node than the latent noise injection. So here I've got different values, but it is quite difficult to see. So I'll do a comparison at the end. Okay, so there we've got 0.1. As mentioned, it's tricky to see the difference between that and 0.3 and 0.5. If you have a look at the armor, you should be able to see it's adding more detail in there. Okay, now here I've got the maximum amount of noise and I've also got a little latent decode so you can see what the image looks like. So that's the that's the image we're upscaling because we've added so much noise into it, but we've also toned down those colors as well. Now we've got absolutely tons of detail. How does that look in the comparison node? Okay, we'll zoom out a little bit so we can get the full thing. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, the flowers are getting a lot more detailed. If you have a look at the armor, Lots more detail in there. So that's on the 0.1 noise and then on the 1.0 noise, the maximum. It does depend on what you're generating, but for sort of mid-level details there, I'm using 0.35 and 0.7 on the multiplier. So it's less saturated. Personally, I prefer that sort of color range. And this time I'm actually looking at the steps instead. So this is four steps. And if we scroll down and have a little look at six steps, Hopefully you'll be able to notice there is indeed more detail and we can go all the way up to eight steps where it's got more detail still. Once again, I've got a comparison node here so you can see the difference between the four and the eight steps. So there's the eight step one, loads of difference in the skin that time. As you can see there with four steps, really very smooth. Eight steps, absolutely loads of detail. Same with the rodent in the background and the flowers. So the more steps, the more detail, although that isn't necessarily always the case, as we'll see in a moment. Uh, other things here, we've got another one here, and this is a two times upscale. So with this one, the impact pack, you can do steps as well. So that goes 1.5 first and then up to two. So this is actually eight steps, four steps each time. Again, the reasonably low noise, 0 0.35, 0 0.75 multiplier. And uh, I think that gives a pretty good image. For those with lower VRAM systems, it's likely you'll have GGUF as your favored loader. So there I'm using the Q4 model. Once again, all the same sort of stuff. Uh, I've got a rat Laura in there as well, just for giggles, but eight steps, standard image, and we can do some upscaling. We have a little zoom out there. As you can see, lots of images working in exactly the same way as with the FP8 version. Here on the GGUF version, I was also doing a number of other tests to see, well, how low can it go? And uh, on two steps, uh, CFG 0.6, 
it's still actually not too bad. So that, that's the standard one with the zero noise and one multiplier. Uh, and it's, it's actually not too bad on two steps. There's the, the extra saturated one. So that's quite fun. But I do prefer four steps. Four steps, I think, really is the minimum. Quick look at those different steps. And so there's four steps. Rodent in a teacup, very nice. And go all the way up to eight steps. Also very nice. Obviously a load more detail. The other nice one, of course, is the two times upscale. And I can open that up in a new tab as well. Even zoom in. So he's got his little claws over there. The fur, of course, isn't quite right. But the details on the cup, I think, are very nice indeed. Increasing the number of steps may not necessarily give you the best result each time. However, this time I've got a painting one. So if we zoom out on this one, you can see it does look fairly similar. But once I get down to this maximum noise node, I'll show you on the comparison. So here we can see the difference. Which one is which? Well, yes, that's the lower. That's the lower noise. And that is the maximum noise. So 0.1 all the way up to 1. I think minimum noise has actually made it a little bit too grainy, perhaps. And looking at the compare node for the steps as well, I think once again, the same thing has happened there. But this is this is with the high steps and low steps. So that's the high number of steps, eight being a high number in this case, and that's the four step. So in this case, I think four is probably better. And of course, you can play around with the settings a little bit to, you know, go with whatever it is you're trying to generate. So here with the painting, I found 0.38 on the noise, 0.7 on the multiplier was quite good. Just doing five steps was fine. CFG 0.5, upscale factor this time of two, uh, just doing it in one step. So going all the way up to two. If I open this image, there's what that one looks like. So absolutely fine. I think that's very good. Upscaling in five steps, loads of detail. What more could you want? Nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.